In this video lecture, we shall take a look at how to write the logic to determine if an input number is a perfect number or not. Before we go to write the logic or develop the logic, let us first try to understand what is a perfect number. So if you take any number like say 10, what are the factors of 10? It is 1, 2 and 5. Why these are the factors? Because if I divide 10 by 1, the remainder is 0. If I divide 10 by 2, the remainder is 0. If I divide 10 by 5, the remainder is 0. Let's take a number like 6 now. So the first factor of 6 is 6 divided by 1 is 0. Okay. 6 divided by 2, the remainder is 0. 6 divided by 3, again the remainder is 0. Any number more than 3 is not going to divide 6. Okay, because 4 cannot divide 6, 5 cannot divide 6 and we don't consider this number itself to be dividing itself. So now if you take the factors of 6, it is 1, 2 and 3. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. So if the sum of the factors is equal to the original number, such a number is known as a perfect number. Take one more example. Let's say we take the number 28. The first factor of 28 is 1. 28 by 1 is 0, 28 by 2 is also 0, 3 doesn't divide 28, 28 by 4 is 0, 5 doesn't divide 28, 6 doesn't divide 28, 7 divides 28 because the remainder is 0, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, none of them divide 28. So only the last number which divides 28 happens to be 14. Now if you add up all of this, it will be also equal to 28. So if the sum of the factors is equal to the original number, then I will call it as the perfect number. Now we need a few variables for this. First is I'll use a variable called as number. Then what I'm going to do here is I need to keep adding the sum of all these factors. So I'll take another variable called as fact sum. Give it the initial value 0. Then what I'm going to do is I have to start dividing this input number from 1. So I'll take another variable called as i. I'll start with 1. So initially I'll take this number divided by i. If the remainder is 0, I'll add i to fact sum. If not, whether it is divisible or not, I'll need to increase i by 1 because I need to go to the next factor like 2, 3, 4 and so on. How long should I continue to divide this number by i? As long as the value of i happens to be less than or equal to number by 2. Why am I using this particular condition? Why is i less than or equal to number by 2? Because the last number or the last factor which can divide an input number is going to be half of that original number. In this case, suppose i is 3. 3 is the last number which can divide 6 because 6 by 2 is 3. 4 cannot divide 6, 5 cannot divide 6. Similarly, in 28, the last number which can divide 28 happens to be 14. 28 upon 14 happens to be Sorry, 28 upon 2 happens to be 14. So 14 is the last value I need to check. To get a complete understanding, let us run through this logic. Number is 1. Sorry, number is unknown value. I is the first factor 1. Fact sum is 0. I am going to read the number from the keyboard. I am going to ask the user to enter a number. He could enter 6. He could enter 28. He could enter some other number. Now the first thing what I am trying to do here is I am sorry the first thing I'm trying to do here is I am going to continue to divide the number as long as the value of the number i is less than or equal to number by 2 so I'll keep repeating this statements between while and end while as long as i is less than or equal to number by 2 so I what I'm doing is if number mod i the remainder happens to be 0 then I am taking fact sum and adding fact sum plus i at the end of this if and before the end while I need to increase the value of i because initially i is going to be 1 then I want to go to i s 2, i s 3, i s 4 and keep checking whether this number is divisible by i. So this particular loop will keep happening till the value of i is less than or equal to number by 2. 
at some point i is going to be 1 greater than number by 2 you will come out of the end while and then what you are going to check is you are going to do a simple check if the value of fact sum is equal to the original number then i am going to say write whatever is the original number suppose number is 6 it will say 6 is perfect suppose i enter a number like 10 then this condition will be false here it will come 10 is not a perfect and then it will stop so what we shall do is to gain a complete understanding of this we shall be using a test table to understand how the logic works as well as verify that our logic is perfectly correct so what i am doing here is let us say i am reading a number as 28 the initial value of i happens to be 1 fact sum is 0 so what is i 1 is less than 14 number by 2 is 14 1 is less than 14 so i am going to come here now 28 mod 1 is it 0 yes it is 0 so i am going to take 1 and add it to fact sum so fact sum is 0 0 plus 1 fact sum becomes 1 now what happens to i i is increased by 1 so i becomes 2 now i go back here 2 is less than 14 so i come here 28 divided by 2 is it 0 it is true so what i am going to do here is fact sum is 1 plus 2 fact sum now becomes 3 okay 1 plus 2 it becomes 3 and i is increased by 1 i becomes 3 now 3 is less than 14 28 mod 3 is 0 is false so i only increase the value of i so here if you see nothing has happened to fact sum the value of i is increased by 1 so i becomes 4 now when i is 4 what happens is 28 sorry i is 4 4 is less than 28 so i come here 28 mod 4 is 0 because 4 into 7 is 28 so fact sum is 3 plus 4 it becomes at this point fact sum becomes 7 now i increase the value of i by 1 okay 5 doesn't divide number so with 6 doesn't divide the number that's why i put a dash here once i come to 7 when i become 7 28 mod 7 is 0 so now what happens is since 28 mod 7 is equal to 0 i am going to add 7 plus the old value of the old value fact sum plus the value of i so fact sum becomes equal to 14 at the end of this i has become 8 now if you see 8 9 10 11 12 13 none of them divide 28 the next number which divides 28 is when the value of i is 14 since i is 14 14 is less than 14 no but 14 is equal to 14 so we come here 28 mod 14 is 0 is true so fact sum is the old value which is 14 okay plus i i happens to be 14 so 14 plus 14 is fact sum is now 28 i ends up becoming 15 15 is not less than or equal to 14 so i come here fact sum is 14 plus 14 fact sum is now 28 28 is equal to 28 so i am going to say 28 is a perfect number and then i am going to come here and stop so this should give you a fair idea of how to find out if an input number is a perfect number or not as a good exercise i will tell you try testing it with numbers like 26 with numbers like 6 and see where this logic runs through be sure you draw this table and at every stage make a note of how the variables change because only when you understand the changing variables or how the memory changes because ultimately you are playing around with the memory to get the result you want so the final result is 28 in this case which happens to be a perfect number so please make an effort to run through the logic with different numbers that's the only way to understand logic and develop logic skills and be able to solve problems on your own